I'm a tired boy. Tim is a stinker tonight. I'm a stinky. Hello. And, okay. Yes. Yes. Sorry. You do your intro, and then I. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Should we stop and start it so this makes it easier for you to edit? No. Okay. Welcome. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. So a few quick announcements, uh, self promos. So go pound sand. This is the first advertisement. Um, first of all, we're trying to build a community. So if you want to join the community of two, um, go join the discord. Join it's, the tribe. It's called a uh, milky Steve's. Uh, we tried putting in milky Fred's and, uh, didn't come up. So milky Steve's it is, we can change it in the future, but that's all right. Um, the benefits are if you, uh, want to have un diluted access to Tim and myself, there you go. You can see what we're doing on the on 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 Discord because Discord snitches on us, so you can see when I'm playing League of Legends. Um, but yeah, I'm hope I, I we hope to build a community. Uh, we put it together. It, you know, if you're like a Reddit moderator, not specifically Reddit, but you know, I was trying to use an analogy, not doing well. Um, if you know how to use Discord, maybe you can help moderate it for us. I don't, I don't know, but we probably don't need moderation because it'll be me and Tim and you, Fred. So, you know, three of us. And another friend. So moderate yourself. But, you know, we're hoping to get involved, hoping to get in chats. Maybe we can do some fun stuff like, you know, mo Monday, like meme Mondays or something like that. We like upload one meme to the meme channel and we just go through it. You yeah, know. it'll be a bit of a, just be a bit of laughs. And like also, yeah, we'll hang out in the Discord and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm pretty adamant to like hang out that, you know, once, once a week. Mm -hmm. And whether people join or not, we'll see. But, you know, we can have chats, you know, it's fine. So check it down below. Number two is um, we also set up an Odyssey page. Now, our channel, unfortunately, on YouTube is below 300 subscribers. So you haven't subscribed, fucking buckle up and subscribe because we need that to be able to you know, sign up and link our Odyssey page um, so we can upload to Odyssey. So For those that don't know what Odyssey is, basically a YouTube alternative which has seemingly better foundations. Anyway, that's all I'll say yeah, that. Yeah, so it's a server. It's not serverless, but it's a um, central, a decentralized uh, library service using the library. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a blockchain, but using the library tech technology. So people host bits of packages around the world. Um, so it's all decentralized, and so there are, there are backups and all that stuff. Um, butchering this but that's from my understanding of how the library works. And then basically, Odyssey sits on the top as a streaming service that you know you can upload your videos to and if you can want to support your creators you you can support them directly which is kind of cool as well you can use um crypto so you don't have to you know use paypal or whatever but you know we're just trying to provide alternatives we're trying to increase our spread we increase our muck around the world harm me tim mm -hmm. um a lot of muck so that'll be down below as well. Uh, there are no videos on there, but if you want to give us a follow, you can go do that as well. Um, videos will eventually come. Yeah. We are working on clips. That's all I've got to say about that. I'm you're slowly... Gonna be you're going to be kind of not flooded, but you're going to have some on you're this YouTube channel. hate me. It's not permanent. Yeah. We'll probably repeat this message a couple of times, but it's not going to be permanent. Yep. It'll be temporary. It's all for a strategic reason. We want to get past the threshold so that we can get into the... Strategy, baby. And but after that, good to go. And, you know, the loving side of me goes, it's just so you get people in the, our audience. They see the link of the Discord. They click on it. They join. They meet with us. And it's mm, beautiful. Chefs. Kiss. Kiss. But, yeah, I've got to upload. A lot. What did I say? No, like, but you've got them uploaded. They're just private, aren't they? Yeah, I've got. Fuck, I've got so many. I can have got, like, 30 up there now. So, and then I've got another 30 to do. And each one takes... 10, 10, well, each, each set of three take like half an hour. So you're trying to get three clips per podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I could do more. Some do five. I'm like, no, nah, I'll take the best three, but I have to like scrub through it and then like scrub, like basically it's not too much work, but it's like from, because it's old episodes, I have to scrub through the whole lot, then scrub, uh, you know, then watch it, play it back again and then like find where I want to start and end it. And then go, okay, cool. And then I go through the next set of things and find what I want to watch. I'm like basically rewatching myself, you know, in our yeah. hot takes, uh, you know, a few a few episodes ago. Um, I think I'm up to like the Hafiz one, um, like the roommates. So we're at that. It's so, a good one. Yeah. It's a good one. And then the final step, which I haven't even included yet. So what did I say? Well, it's 
probably so it's 20, 20 clips, 20 videos total. So 20, so it's like 10 hours worth of work mm -hmm. straight of just doing that, which is laborious to do in one session. Um, then I have to go through each and every single one, Tim, and make a fucking thumbnail for it. And these are going to be like typical, you know, your Logan Paul, Joe Rogan, Lex Friedman, like Tim shock face or like staring like, mm, and then me laughing. And then like the, the green, it has to be green. No other color. We've tried, I've tried maybe yellow cause yellow is like the most clickable color on YouTube, mm -hmm. but green border. And then the image, what we're talking about in the middle has to be that chef's kiss okay cuz you'll think oh it's a Lex Friedman clip no it's us motherfucker we got you <laughs> maybe we'll put Lex Friedman Lex. on the thumbnail and get him again <laughs> or in the title no we're like we'll put Lex Friedman on the thumbnail that'd be a huge meme right like we we'll put Lex Friedman on the thumbnail and then you on the other side so it's not it's like Lex and then you <laughs> cuz like the 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 curtains sort of look like <laughs> there's probably a clip out there of one of us talking about Lex yeah yeah they could just use this right now to justify it. Yeah, but like they were like Lex Free, <laughs> they'd be Lex Mookie Token on how to scam Lex Free, like you know, um, uh, <laughs> how to how to like skim or whatever like Lex Friedman's viewers. But like your your angle looks like his sort of setup, but so like he uses black curtains, not grey ones, yeah, so it true. looks similar. <laughs> if you just took it, so it'll be you like. And then Lex on the other side, yes. and then it'd be like in the middle. Great you know man. how those people fake the conversations between like Joe Rogan and like oh, they're so good. It's like Jordan Peterson versus like Peterson Jordan or whatever, and it's just like him <laughs> on like Joe Rogan, and it's like first time talking to him on the second time, and what they're just you, having a conversation. What you gotta do? I, I can't do Jordan. Dude, I'm gonna I find love that guy's YouTube accent, it's like it's or something. Fucking funny, and like Alex Jones when like Alex Jones. There's been a few. They always talk to Alex Jones and Joe Rogan went on Alex Jones's um Infowars. I haven't seen it, but they I've seen all the memes on it, and like it's just great. And then the one that thing I can think of is when you know um Alex Jones. Charmin is Charmin. his name, but Jordan Peterson versus Peter Jordanson. <laughs> Dude, it's so fucking funny. Those videos are fucking. But four point one million. Views. Yikes! But it's just funny though because you got like, like, Joe. Let me do something. Kind of retarded. And then Joe's like. Why would you do that? And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then it's like just yelling. You're like, it's just, and they always put like weird like music in the background. It yeah. looks like your heart sounds like you're high or playing like Wii Fit or something like that. Like yeah. it's like, you don't know. <laughs> it's just like. It's a good balance. It's a good balance. You know, it's like, what am I watching? Yes. So that's the announcements. That's the announcements. Follow us on Discord. It's in the description. Join us. And join our community on Discord. And join. Help Look at us. Have a gander at Odyssey. If you want, have a look over there and don't even look at us. It's an alternative to YouTube if you think they're a bit uh, bit on the naughty side. Anyway. Naughty? Yeah, YouTube bit, oh, a you, bit naughty. Yeah, naughty on the naughty side, yeah. Or, Odyssey is a bit naughty in a good way. Ooh. All right. Continue on with the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're up to your regular programming. <laughs> Edit that in, motherfucker. <laughs> What's the... <laughs> you, you won't. What's the... You're like, you know, changing the channel back in the day with the old shitty TVs. Oh, like, like the... The like, black and white, like, like the funny, funny videos and it's like... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Australia's home videos or whatever. No, like the... Like, epic moments or what the fuck it's called on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Fucking, they'll probably do it as well. Like, All right. Daily Life 24-7 or something. You've seen in the, in the title, might even be on the thumbnail of the big podcast, of this podcast, rather. Uh, we got three bits of news. Good. Uh, He's wrong. It's not in the thumbnail, the fucking idiot. Uh, what are you talking about? Fuck. The dude. thumbnail is always Milky Toucan with us doing something. Why not? I thought you might spice it's up. It's authentic, right, my true, man. True. And consistent. And consistent. All right. Um, the Batman Riddler uh, quote, Riddler clues trailer. Okay. So there's like a trailer. They've got like a two and a half, three minute trailer. Don't worry about the last Anything past the first 30 seconds, it's like one of those TV spot ones. I can't wait for the church scene, boys. The church scene? That's all I'm saying. Keep on going. Okay. Shut up, Tim. I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, so just if we – do you want to put the trailer for this in the description? Mm. Do you just want to watch the first oh, – oh, Yeah, put it in the description. Okay. Yeah. Just the, You just want to watch the first 30 seconds. You'll understand when to stop because it goes to just like a previous trailer you've seen before. Anyway, uh, long story short um, – it looks fucking cool. Like mm. I always say, I'm not watching any more trailers. I'm done. You spoil it. I'm done with it. I've seen enough. I'm hooked. 
I'm coming in. I've probably said this before as well. This is getting more hype than the fucking Venom trailers. Like, I think we alone generated $5 billion for the Venom movie franchise. I think I'd like one of them, then billion. No, you can't have that. Oh, why not? Fuck off. Oh. But we're saying we generated, we want some clout. We generated $5 billion of Venom hype, all right? So, <laughs> I, just I don't just, think it's generated that much Venom money. You just Venom and just didn't explain... It was a movie. Just when we got five million Venoms. <laughs> that mean? In other news, Venom. Yeah, Venom. Uh, anyway, so anyway, so Batman comes out March 4th. Um, Come looks on. good. Uh, I'm keen to see the Riddler slicing and dicing or not so slicing. Uh, okay, next thing. Staying on the theme of superheroes. I usually go movies, TVs, games or something like that. But fuck that shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm not being that today. Oddly. We're staying in the genres of... <laughs> Uh, superhero. Anyway, Moon Knight official trailer. I know I'm a bit late on this. I actually had this in the Discord for a long time. Our personal Discord for a long time. Um, have a look at it. Um, there's been rumblings about this since 2017-18. You got bit by a mummy. With James Gunn, um, the guy who did uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. He expressed a lot of interest back in the day. I remember hearing about it early 2018, I reckon. His brother's a great meme. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, dude, that, that guy's pretty funny. Anyway, so he was like, oh, I can't write anything about it. Um, I don't have any time. I can't produce this project. Anyway, it's now being done, obviously. We've got Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke. They're the two big names in this. Um, you'd probably know the actors if you just look them up. Ethan go, Hawke. Yeah. Um, fuck, Training Day. Uh, just look him up. You'll know who I'm fucking talking about. He's in a lot of shit. Sean Gunn. Sean Gunn. Ethan Hawke, mate. Sean Gunn is the main man. Oh, that's it. Oh, the brother's name is Sean. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, looks quite well filmed. Oscar's, Oscar Isaac's British accent, pretty good. Thought it was quite good. Uh, okay, anyway, I'll stop talking. Yeah, I don't about... quite understand. Wait, what's his name? Adam Hawke? Ethan Hawke. Why'd I say? God, you're retarded sometimes. Let me quickly explain the plot. Uh, my best friend's name was Adam Hawk Tim. Jeez. Yeah? Yeah, in primary school. Oh, wow. Well, what a fucking idiot. How'd you muddle him up with a celebrity from Hollywood? He's a celebrity to me, Tim. Uh, okay. All right? Yeah, I miss right. the man. All right. Fair enough. Okay. The Tim's plot, like... The plot, <laughs> oh, the plot is pretty fucking simple. you got a schizophrenic guy who gets taken over by... Uh, no, he's, he's, he's not schizophrenic. He's, he's like got, insomniac. No, he's, he's got, got like, DID. He's got DID. What the fuck's that? Disassociative identity disorder. I thought, no, no. I thought he had like, in, he couldn't sleep and yeah. he was like going loopy from it. So he's got different personalities and I think some of those personalities are like that. So he's got like one guy who's like a shopkeeper. And then he's got another oh, one. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't want to uh, fight. So, so that's the gist. He's just got like multiple. It's I don't want to like, know that. I thought he was just it, like, man was sleepy. It's like, um, I still haven't watched a glass. Yeah. Um, um, we, could, we should watch that. What's the first in. one? Split. Split. Anyway, let's see how he does it. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. So that's the gist. There's I this guy. Just insomniac that like, it was just like, yeah. you know, like Nightmare on Elm Street. Kind of fritzing out, doesn't know what's real. Like literally not. like just yeah. some sort of entity was like. Trying to like contact him. him because he was like fucking losing reality because he hasn't yeah. slept in fucking ages. Yeah. So the thing is, it, this might be a bit of a chicken or the egg kind of thing. Like he could have been a normal dude. Well, they he got, was a former marine. They got beat by a mummy. Yeah. Um, well, to, I don't know if he gets bit, but hopefully. Um, anyway, then there's some some Egyptian moon. The Egyptian moon god says, "How you doing?" Kind of comes into this guy, and now they're not in his butt. Now they're yeah, now they're butterflying and bum holes and stuff. So it's gonna be a good time. Mm. So that's the gist. Sounds fucking weird. Look at the trailer; it's a lot better than I've just explained it. Uh, uh, what else have I written here? I need to rewatch the CGI. I but... wrote going crazy. Turns out he's not crazy. There's so much good shots of there in um. Like he's looking in reflections, like he's looking in mirrors. And he's staring, and then as like he's walking away, the, the thing's still staring. Refle- yeah, it was quite was, cool. Yeah. It was, it was nice. like a little thing, and I was like, oh, that's a good little. Um, yeah, so it's a series. It's not a movie. Keep that in mind. That's why I was saying I'm going against what I usually do. Uh, the series, Disney Plus, obviously. Well, not maybe not obvious for you guys. Disney Plus, the first episode comes out on the 30th of March. 
Cool. I will probably watch it. It's going to be cool. I too much. Okay, I haven't seen. Uh, that sounds great, but I still need to watch uh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Okay, I finished it. And I need to watch yeah. man, uh, Boba Fett. I, Boba Fett. I've watched episode one, two, three, and five. Okay. I missed four. Good on you. I'm going to spoil episode five. The Mandalorian's in it. Yes. Anyway. It's just like one of those like Simpsons episodes with like that is like it's like the the crossover and it's like you know, one. but it's, you know, a, but you know, it's it, legitimately not that it's a Mandalorian episode great. and at the end the chick's like hey do you want to help us and he's like yeah sure uh, and you know, that's that's the the whole episode literally follows him that's funny because you know how there's um, no Boba Fett in it at all no do you know how um what was it in the like the, the, the specific the, the specific start. Simpsons episode when like the they make that that robot. Like Lisa makes her robot. He's like, "I love you," and then like Homer cuts off his finger, and like the like nuclear station blows up and whatnot, and like that you like literally watch like five minutes of each of their storyline until like where like that event happens and it all crosses over. Oh, it's right. like really well done. It's like like the fucking best episode ever. Okay, but like you know you watch each person like do their like daily chores when they wake up, and then like when they cross over and like you know like tribute you know trip each other downstairs or whatever. whatever. And, like, you know, I, I love those sort of episodes. Like, yeah. they're a bit, like, cliche. I don't know if there's, like, a tip, like, a name for that, like, storytelling effect. Yeah. But I'm, like, nice. Yeah. Um, what's some other movies that, are, uh, for example, the the Renaissance. The Last Jewel. Yeah, that's exactly, like, that, that yeah. sort of effect. That's where, what like, I was thinking. Yeah. But yeah. I don't like bringing that movie up. Gives Are you me... sad that you have to pay money? Then a week later, it was put on fucking Netflix. <laughs> no, no, I just don't like oh, the rape scene. Was so like made me so uncomfortable, dude. Yes, yeah, it's, it's made there, me so uncomfortable. Sitting there with a bunch of other people and just seeing it's not even like it, a woman. Were you seeing it in public? Wasn't even a big thing. It was no, it's one like percent of it. But to me, it was just like truly uncomfortable. I was like, man. Like I want to snap some necks. Like I'm angry. Like I was just like, this makes me. It, it seemed like uncomfortable. It hurts me because he was like playing pick me boy as well. Like <laughs> yeah, but that could have been the custom, and I think it was the custom. Because that was a, established before. So I'm a war man. So I'm, I love you, baby. Come back. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> it's just like it, that. That first of all is ick, in like all three ways it's told ick. Yes. Um. <laughs> But he's like chasing her. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna get you and rape you because you like it. It's like, Ugh! yeah. It's like makes me boil. Yeah. But yeah, no, I don't. I wouldn't even want to be like. I wouldn't even like. Dude, good, you want, good you want a hot Adam. take? Do you want a hot what? take? This is a <laughs> truly searing hot take. Maybe this annoys me so much is because I know that there's some women out there that would want that to happen. Okay. <laughs> But I know, hang on, but, <laughs> but, but I don't think fro that character did want it. So that's maybe the thing that really makes me uncomfortable is that I know she was raped and she didn't want to be raped. And I'm just, that's part of the reason I'm so uncomfortable. Hang on. Hot take. <laughs> Both scenes when he tells it, like, he's like, yeah. I pretend raped her and she loved it. Like I, yeah. that made me feel more uncomfortable than her, like in her retelling, actually getting raped. You know? You felt more uncomfortable with his telling of it. I don't quite remember, but his was just to me more like, Ugh. no, his was like, oh, damn. Like he's kind of right. But with hers, I was like, oh, he's a cunt. Yeah, no, but no, like, no, but. Okay, hang on. We should explain, still, we should no, explain what we're talking He about. still chased her, picked it up, threw her on the bed, and started like going. Now, on her take, it was the same, exactly the same thing, but it was more like force, push her head down, like, you know, like literally yeah. pin her down sort of thing. Yeah. And both things, I'm like, ugh. And then, and then this is what I hate God, the most. Because I, I hate showed the it most. once, but they don't want to get it. Yeah. Like, oh, this <laughs> like, is how they're doing the movie. Dude. Yeah. They, they, they got, they, you didn't see one rape scene. You see two rape scenes. Yeah. <laughs> of the same shit. <laughs> and it's slight, shot slightly <laughs> different. Oh. I, I mean, Dude. the thing okay, is... Okay, so we're talking about the movie The Last Jewel. It's set in like the 1300s France. There should be a trigger warning on that scene in the movie because that... It was R18, I'm pretty sure. But that could be a trigger warning for a lot of people. Oh, fucking for sure. Um, we've probably triggered a couple fucking people just for us shitly explaining this in my hot take. 
<laughs> anyway, hot take. Maybe that's part of the reason it well, makes me so Well, he defends that, you know, this is not Tim saying it, but uh, Adam Driver's character was like, yeah, I'm a Chad. Thanks for clarifying. Just, 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 you know, <laughs> quote, entry quote, chicks love being pretend raped because I'm a Chad. If I wasn't a Chad, it will be real rape, end quote, Adam Driver's Pretty much, character. pretty much. But that's like literally where hell he's going, you know? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But sorry, you're explaining about um, the movie and how he should be explaining it and you're kind of like setting the back tone of it. Uh, no, no, but that's a gist. It's like in France, the 1300s, uh, there's three main characters. One chick uh, is – one woman is a man's wife. She was so a you princess, got Matt Damon. Uh, she was a daughter of a lord. Yeah, and Matt Damon married this lord, this this lord's daughter for a parcel of land. And then Adam Driver and Matt Damon are best buddy, or not best mates, but they're good mates. Um, long story short, Adam Driver's a chad. He gets a lot of women, and Adam He's Driver's great friends with like the Duke baron or yeah, of the, the baron of some, the whole land, some champ as well. Like literally the guy below the king, basically. Yeah, who's a and fucking then loser. Adam Driver and this baron have a really good relationship. They have a lot of fucking orgies. Um, they smash a lot of chicks anyway. Probably each other Adam as well. Adam Driver's character happens to see Matt Damon's wife and he kind of thinks there's a connection, thinks she's into it kind of thing, rocks up at Matt Damon's house when Matt Damon's off at war and then smashes the wife. And it's he thinks it's not rape. It's just customary at the time to kind of, as a woman, pretend to run away kind of thing. And then... In her retelling, because the, the movie was basically done in three. Because different... he thinks he thinks he's a dog, and do you know when you run away from a dog funnily and they chase after you, and you're like, "Hey, hey. that's yeah. what he thinks yeah. he is." So that was kind of the custom, but he's they also had a lot of fucking weird things going on. So anyway, she in her retelling, she was genuinely raped, you know. So, like but... a subtle thing, like just one subtle thing to show is that I really remember is in his telling, she cleanly took off her shoes yeah. and placed them at the bottom of the stairs. As if to like yeah. deliberately do it and then ran up the stairs to go to the bedroom kind of thing where she ran. Whereas in her retelling of it, she like tripped and lost a shoe and then flicked the other one off and ran up the stairs kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't like clean and like, oh, chase me, please. You know what I mean? Yeah. And to be clear, people don't know this, but like literally like in at that time, I don't know if it was globally, but adultery was – a huge thing. Not only is it, you know, you'd get fucking, your, you know, if you, like, you'd get killed for adultery, you'd always, like, the wife would get killed for it too mm. um, because the man had every rights to kill, like, you know, do what he wants to his property. Um, and, like, you know, it, the thing is women didn't have rights then, so if they needed to sue for rape, not adultery, because yeah, like if it was all, adultery, it's illegal like anyway. Half, they were like half valued as a man. But basically, is what they said. They have to be like a child. Like a child, they they have to have the man sue on her behalf. Yeah. So he would have to believe her, then sue her, and then risk his life on her on her behalf. Yeah. Which is a which again is what happened in the movie. Which is what happened in the movie. And Matt Damon was like, "Yeah, you're not fucking. This is you, you say this happened. I believe you. Let's he, go to the king and get this fucking squared away." Yeah, and uh, and the king went. All right then. Let's put funny this to a is, jewel like, and see whoever God God's will. But I can't believe the priest is like, "Did you come?" Yeah, that is some fourteenth. That made me cringe. I was like, "No woman has been raped and came before." I rest my case. Drop mic. You're yeah. like, Damn. "You're a fucking virgin." Shut up. What do yeah. you know about this? <laughs> there was uh, some that that's, uh, that's not a to hot, say you that's don't, a hot take now. Hot take now. So also not th- not to say that. You need to have sex with a woman to know that she's if she's been raped. You know what I'm saying? Like no, I was saying that he's a virgin. What's bus- he know about women? Yep. You know, coming. Oh yes, yeah, so, yeah. when being raped. Um, so I'm like, you don't need to have sex with a woman to know that having an orgasm does not equal having a good time. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, makes yeah. Sense. yeah. And the reason why we're bringing up orgasm, by the way, is because back then. Uh, they even now a lot of fucking idiots would say believe this yeah they yeah. They, they believe that you can, a woman can only become pregnant if she's been if she's found the sex pleasurable and or if she's orgasm during sex so, oh yeah I forgot about that part yeah so <laughs> in the rape scene on both ends she kind of enjoyed it which is the really uncomfortable part yeah like, that, she did come yeah. like she did come on both like what her retelling and his 
and then she fell pregnant and she'd been with her husband for five years and hadn't been pregnant. Yeah, that so made me feel, that's what made me feel uncomfortable a lot. I'm yeah. like, I just wanted to like, for, so you see what I'm saying? Benefit. My hot take doesn't yeah. seem so hot no, now, does I know. It? I just wanted for her benefit to not enjoy it. I'm like, okay, squared away, done. Yeah, you done. Dust it but mentally. Yeah. I was like, God damn it. Why'd you have to like why'd make you have that? Nut? Why'd you make that? After we just, or after you yeah. just said, oh, they don't have to enjoy it. No, no, life. no. But the way, no, the way the character did it and like, she kind of like went, eh. yeah. I was like, fuck, could have been like a sad one, you know? <laughs> could have been a sad one. That's all I know. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Next bit of news, the <laughs> the curse trailer. All right, oh, fuck me. that was good, wasn't it? That was no, smooth. it's not good. Don't yeah. rape women, everyone, especially those uh twelve year old boys out there. Don't rape women. Don't do it. Consent is good. All right, the curse last trailer. Then we can fucking <laughs> shit talk for however long we got. We got like another half an hour. All right, the curse trailer. Horror movie set in the late 1800s. The gist of the story is someone kills someone. Little naughty, naughty actions. Bang. Dead. Someone died. Now there's a curse unleashed on the land. Um, looks fucking cool. CGI is decent. Uh, the actors, uh, Boyd Holbrook, um, the guy that was like the Logan mercenary. He had the one, the middle hand. Oh, yeah. Hunting yeah. the kids. Yeah. Um, Alistair Petrie. You'll know him if you look him up. Kelly uh, Riley. Look it gives me know. night Twilight Zone vibes. But I have not watched going. any Twilight Keep movie. Um, it's just the reason why is like a lot of shit going on, a lot of monsters, a lot of things, and that's what Twilight Zone is really about. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, uh, I kind of there's monsters. That's the only connection. But I'm there's a, it's like a lot going on. It's like literally everywhere that goes, like oh, some cunt there, and oh, there's yeah. a fucking fellow there. there. Someone's there's... getting drowned in that pond, and, and there's then a some guys like slinging children. dicks over there, like yeah. you know. Um, okay, so if you like horror movies, watch the fucking trailer. That's all I'll say. Mm. It looks fucking I wanna great watch it for horror. I, I watch it. I want to watch it for the, the story. It looks like a cool story, but, but it looks like a great horror. I don't like horrors, though. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of horrors. I would definitely watch this with my missus because she loves fucking horrors. I enjoy it at the time. It's like a bit of, ooh, you know, like spicy food, but the next day it's like, what? Well, it wasn't worth it. You know, you shit yourself, your asshole's on fire, yeah. you wipe, it hurts. Did you have a bad sleep after? Of course, I'm a child. I'm a baby. That's what can I say? <laughs> At least you're honest. Uh, Dude, nothing's worse than when you start, like, have, like losing sleep, not having much sleep, and then you fucking see, like, the corner of your eye, you think you see something, and it's nothing there. It's turns like, out you just have DID, and you have been touched by an Egyptian moon god. And now you're moon knight. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I just got raped Real and loud. came. Uh, um, so yeah, it looks good. Um, look at the trailer. Looks pretty fucking cool, I think. Yeah. Looks like a decent story. Pretty simple. Some people see some shit going on. Um, Maybe that guy's got DID. The fucking and scarecrow comes to his life. Daughter. Oh, is that the fellow who went? The scarecrow. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was one of them. And there was something in the fucking water. There was a little hair goblin on a fucking bed for a couple of frames and you're like what's going on there um there's a super fast there's an invisible thing in the grass mm. i don't know what's going on it's gonna be good it looks cool yeah so obviously they're gonna have to get a macguffin they're gonna have to find something that's related to this death and then go this is gonna go with the person who died and then it's fixed or something like that but in the meantime is macguffin a thing of interest or like a place of interest no it's a thing it's like, oh, you've got to get that beer because that beer is tied to her heart and she loved that beer. So no, is the MacGuffin beer. specifically like... It's from a movie. No, but like, is a MacGuffin like, oh, to win, to to finish this movie, I've got to play this, like, you know, the pick of destiny. Like, I've got to find the pick and then play it and then we're good to go. Like, or is it like... Just an object. Is it just an object or is it an object tied to a person you have to bring back to the thing? No, no, no. It's just okay. like, just, just an object. Like, yeah, yeah. An it's object of interest. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh, we need to find the key. All right. And then sometimes, you know, oh, he just, like, it's just like a nickname for, oh, this, that's, that, that's the plot device, the MacGuffin. Yeah, that's, I knew, I sort of knew what MacGuffin was, but I wasn't sure there's like an, uh, like an, uh, you te like, you know, like an outcome of the MacGuffin itself is like returning it to where it belongs no, or. No, no. Sometimes, or, or if it's just a th an it's object just, of interest. Just an object. So, um, for example, the old spark from Transformers. That was a MacGuffin. That was a MacGuffin. Yeah. I want Shia LaBeouf to come back. 
I liked him. I thought it was great. Sam Witwicky. Well, I unironically watched the... Um, I love them so much. Don't Let Your Dreams Be Dreams video. It's an inspiring video. I need to watch it again. Uh, like I've seen like... It's like four minutes long, the full version. No, the full version is like an hour. Is it? Yeah. Oh. It's very long. Fuck. Yeah. Because you know how people memed it for like those 30 no, seconds? No, no. It's, it's like a long video. Damn, I should watch that. Um. So, yeah. I'll, I, I, Transformers, man. Okay, before we get to that. Uh, this movie, The Cursed. Watch a trailer. I actually recommend it. Um, the Batman, you don't need to watch. Moon Knight, watch it if you're interested. But The Cursed, watch it. Comes out February 18th. There you go. Cool. I cool, cool, cool. Should we watch it on Netflix? What? The Cursed? Or whatever it comes out on. It'll probably come out in the movies. I haven't seen on... on Do you want to watch in the movies though? Hey? Eh? Do you want to watch in the movies though? Yeah, well, I'll watch it with Taylor. Sweet Cheeks. I'm not watching it with you. I mean, I would watch it with you. I'll watch it after you. At the movies. I've seen you watch it twice. Yeah, I don't mind watching some movies. Does Taylor like horrors? Yeah, she's a big horror fan. I'm pretty indifferent about it. Um, but I'm she not, loves them. I'm not too whatever. I just like, you know, I'm just like a rationalist, you know? like. Why would you do that? Why are you tripping over, you fucking idiot? Get up. Stop being emotional. Yeah. I'm a bit like that as well. That's why, That's why I kind of like thrillers. And not horrors because horrors tend to have those dumb ass, um, like, I fell over at the worst time and now I got grabbed by the horror of the movie. Whereas a thriller can have nothing going on and the music gets to you and you go, oh my fucking God, I'm on edge. Nothing happens. It's just a fucking got him. Thrillers are really good. Like yeah. Tenet. I couldn't even Tenet think of a, a good thriller. Tenet, Tenet was a thriller. It's, just an, it? action, it's an action like thriller. That, I've, I had thriller moments. I heard um, who's the uh, Quentin Tarantino talking about Tenant. Yeah, um, and he's just like he was. He even was like, "I've watched it twice. I think I need to watch it again." He was like, "I I, I haven't fully wrapped my head around." I'm like, "Good take." I'm like, "I'm the same." I fucking love it though. Yeah, like it's a movie. I need to watch it again. It is so good. Like I love Robert Patterson. Like yeah, that's why I'm keen for Batman. Like, dude, like, he. He got like Harry Potter, great, and and then to even Twilight, great. Like I, I honestly gonna say the first Twilight, although a bit cringe, kind of good. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that I legit might be scene, too old for it. That baseball yeah, now it's kind of like it was like one of those times where it's like if you're a teenager, they dress to the t- the era, they dress to the time, you know, like the way they dress, and you. Like, I, I'm okay with that, but no, I but just it's like, like you know, you probably kind of for teenagers. You know what I mean? I don't think it was suited. I think it was just suited to women. Okay. But it was like for the times. I'm definitely in the bracket. It's kind of it's kind of cool, but it's like for the times. I think it was a romance. Um, but it's like. <laughs> I think it was. I don't was remember. Three way wasn't it because she was choosing? She was a whore. She was choosing Edward. No, she was choosing Jacob. Jacob. Because Jacob got bit by a radioactive werewolf. That's right, and then and then the other one, Edward, was it Edward? Yeah, the vampire. Edward was the vampire. She kind of vibed with him, but then chose old mate. Yeah, because he was had a chocolate body and abs. Uh, oh, the chocolate body. <laughs> yeah. He's doing quite poorly now, apparently. Who? That werewolf boy. Oh, yeah. He's got a sloppy rig, sloppier than mine. You know who doesn't? Robert Patton Pattinson. That's right. He's Batman. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, no, so I think, like, he got better around the stick because, yeah, you know, she chose, I haven't seen, like, two or three. I just saw one, and I liked one. No, I don't want to do it. I was going to say, what? should we just give our predictions what happens in Twilight <laughs> 2 and 3, even though no, I haven't seen one, <laughs> and you've only seen one? All I know is, no. he's like... They, fight, they come together and fight a common enemy. I think that happens in three. In two, it's a bit of like a begrudging, like, yeah, a, I don't like you. You, 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 you're taste. You're with my girlfriend. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Bit of cringe, you know. That's I just love the baseball scene in number one. I think it's sick. But they're playing baseball, and we're like, fine, because the the vampires, but they're like, they're like enhanced humans, like Super Saiyan sort of thing. And they're like playing baseball from like, you know, a kilometer away. And if they pitch the ball like a kilometer away, and it's like, <laughs> and it's like flying. And oh, then when they hit cool. it, it like, Skadoosh. smacks it and kadooshes away. 
fucking cool, man. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've never heard about that. No, it's cool. I'm going to watch it again. You're going to rewatch it? I'm going to rewatch that shit. I'll watch it with you. Fucking yeah, man. I actually brought it up with Taylor a couple times. I'm like, well, we should watch Twilight. And she's like, yeah, yeah, sure, we'll get around to it. We've got that many things, so it's fair enough. But fuck it, she won't forget about me not saying Twilight. So yeah, I mean, I can't. I would watch it with you because we just laugh at it, man. I reckon. Some wicked memes. Meme, wicked memes. Discord, would everyone watch it on the Discord? Yo, that's not a bad shout. Live streaming reaction to Twilight <laughs> Trilogy. <laughs> Twilight <laughs> Thursdays. <laughs> Twilight Thursdays, yeah. Twilight Tuesdays. Or we could line it up un- unironically with a, tw- uh, a. Uh, Moon, full moon or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. Are we Robin guys? Pattinson's birthday. Something like that. Or the original release day. I don't fucking know. I don't There's know. a lot of options there, man. Or maybe we just fucking pick a day and we watch it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I liked it, man. I got to say. But I also like shit movies. Like, uh, no, sorry, great movies. Like Pluto and Ash. That has like five Rotten Tomatoes. That? I've heard of that. Pluto Nash? Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. His name's Pluto Nash. Is he the alien that comes down and is controlling? No, it's, um, it's a different one. Dave? It is. Oh, that's Dave. Yeah. This this one is like the 90s, like a rich, it's like a rich dude named Pluto Nash who lives on the moon. Okay. He, he fucks bitches, has a hot wife, and is getting chased after by some moon gangsters. What? How is this 5%? It's like low, like 90s equivalent of um The Expanse. <laughs> it's, you've connected the dots. It's making sense now. <laughs> what? How like, you know, literally the same plot almost. I haven't seen The Expanse, but I know the gist, I think. It's just like moon dudes being moon dudes, Mars dudes being Mars dudes, yeah. and fucking fellas being fellas. The rim or whatever it's called, the mining. The, uh, you know what I'm saying? The miners, the miner boys. The that's going to annoy me because I know it's like outer rig or the outer, outer rim or something. Outer rim, the little tall dudes. Yeah, whatever. The fellas. The guys like this. Aren't they weaker because they don't have gravity? Yeah, so their bones have, like, expanded and the density of their bones has, like, decreased so their bones are longer to support their, their body structure because, you know, they're taller because they've got less gravity compressing their joints. Yeah. So do they ever make it back to a planet and go just crumple? That's how they torture is they put them on Earth's atmosphere. Oh, really? And their, like, bodies start collapsing on themselves, like, fucking... Ah, uh, surely that's not actually what would happen, though. Well, it's, it's uncomfortable and painful for them. Yeah, it would be uncomfortable and painful. Surely you wouldn't collapse. You'd just be like, No, but it's Damn. like... No, it's like... I've not adapted to this. Well, if you, if you, if you weighed four times you are before, like in a second, you'd be like, oh, bro, have you ever fucking stood on it? Maybe the weak ones would, but you also have, have, you have a, stood no, on but a you also have looked, some fucking weight on your back. Okay. You weigh, you instantly weigh 400 kilos, but you also have leukemia. Well, leukemia is pretty bad. That's bone cancer. I t- yeah. I take. No, isn't that blood cancer? I'll take. It's both. Go on. I think it's both. Like blood cancer equals bone cancer equals weak bones equals... Look, it's not a good thing. We can agree on that. Anyway, you got soft bones. You weigh for, you know, double the weight. Anyway, it's excruciating. Mm -hmm. All I know is fellas got tortured that way. Blood cancer. Blood cancer. Does Google, does leukemia... Affect the bones. Uh, Make your bones affect weak. Affect your bones. Yes, leukemia affects your bones by making them grow stronger. Joint pain. Yeah. Usually your bone marrow has become overcrowded with cancer cells. I shouldn't swing my arm in celebration to that. I apologize, everyone. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> Did you swing it? I, went to, I, I like stayed one half swing. I was like, that's not a good thing. That's so real bad around the spinal cord. Yikes. Yikers. Cancelled leukemia. Yeah. Anyway, Can sorry, we cancel continue. leukemia, dude? Don't cancel COVID. Let's cancel leukemia. Ugh. Um. Yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah, so I, I like I Pluto. Like that's still a problem. The, the, the point is, I like Pluto Nash. <laughs> it's rated like five on Rotten Tomatoes. So clearly, I don't have a good, like, I just don't, I have like, you don't have a taste, although I'm very taste. critical. The thing is, although I'm very critical with life and I like, I'm very judgmental with things and I like to hypercritical with movies, I know what to expect. I'm not there for a critical time. I'm there for a waste of time. I'm not there for a critical time. I'm there for a waste of time. So I don't care about what I'm watching. Mm-hmm. So I'm not that I'm not too critical with movies just because, you know, I, I know I'm riding off that time. Whereas people go, ah, oh, you put a cup, you put a cup in your thing, there's a cup in your shit, but I actually burnt. Sorry, I'm just trying to make fun of every single person who like had a, made a big deal about like the Game of Thrones set. Like, dude, you're taking us back to leukemia, and I'm like, dude, <laughs> what the fuck? My guy, we just like, talked about bones being bad, and this person doesn't have a jaw. <laughs> <laughs> Where's his palate, man? <laughs> no, like, oh, no, I was trying to do like a lisp. Um, no, like the when they have someone like a, out there, like a start. Gonna heard the start of my joke that I didn't say. What you started I'm, saying? I'm not gonna say it. I'm legit not gonna say it. Broken jaw. You gotta say it now. No, I'm not saying it. That's too bad. Go on, I'll tell you off there. I'll you write gotta... it down. Oh, I'll write it down. He's not a principled man. You ready? He does a bad thing, but then doesn't say it. But no, when they complain about how like. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, go ahead. Um, when when uh, Sansa Stark, the most annoying Stark of them all, because she's fucking useless. Although she was very useful. In, so like, you say it. Sansa Stark like Game of Thrones? Yeah, she had she had a like a. I just hated her because like the first few seasons, I'm like, Ugh. yeah, she was useless the whole. Stinker. She got a bunch of wolves killed. She sided with. Joffrey instead of her sister when the, the, the dog bit, when the wolf bit. Oh, right, yeah. Or the little boy. Yeah. Um, no, but when she had like a Starbucks cup in front of her, like the whole, everyone went crazy about how there's a Starbucks cup. No, in that it. was in front of... Um... That was in front of Sansa. No, that was in front of Daenerys. No, it was Sansa, you ding dong. No. All right. I'm going to wind up. What to season one. are you thinking? The last one? Sansa, Stark... Oh, no, then there was one on their feet as well. There's a water bottle at their feet. Oh, uh, okay. But I think it's. But I think, right, here's a conspiracy, that the show, not the show runners, but people in the show were like, this this set, this storyline sucks. Who gives a shit? Let's who see gives how a shit? Let's see how many times we can fuck it up. Maybe. Or they were just, you know, everyone got thrown out the... Or maybe bin. they just missed it. But yeah, no, the, it went downhill quickly, sadly. Yeah, the last two seasons weren't flash. Ah, oh, hang on. One to four with a prime. I think you're right, but I swear. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past you to uh, put past them to have. I thought, no, okay. There is a Starbucks cup in front of Daenerys, but I swear. Yeah, no, because it was, it's saying that it was Sansa Stark's cup. Uh but I thought it was in front of Sansa, but like the image in shot was of Daenerys. She does sit there in that scene. Yeah, I thought so. And she gets up just before that shot. Yeah. Or like a, a minute before that scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it probably was her cup. That's a good memory right there. Can but you, you was... said it was in front of Daenerys, so that's a good memory too. Like it literally is in front of her. Like, look. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's clearly like not her cup. You know, that's mm. a good point. Mm. Thinking of Sansa's. Wow, when great minds collide, dude, I'd be a great mind with you, but I wouldn't want to know when you haven't taken a shit and you can feel like the poo come in your bum and have that sensation. I don't want to know about that, Tim. That would be that's you want to imagine feeling like, ooh, that feels good. <laughs> like what the fuck would happen? Tim's taking a large turd. Oh, there's so many questions. So many layers. So many layers and not enough time. Look, I was being extra. There's plenty of time. I was just being extra flagrant. I'm not being honest with you guys. I was just doing. I just enjoyed that because I thought it was funny. Okay. <laughs> My brain went down a pathway and a few neurons fired up. Yeah. And I was like, I got to clock onto this one. Uh, this will sound really bad because I, I didn't ask 
uh, before we start, well, I did, but not too directly. Um, this will sound really bad, me saying this after what you've just said. How are you and the missus? Yeah, good. Good, cool. Good, yeah, no, it's great. Um, I, no, no complaints. We are still renovating the house, still upgrading it. Yep. She's painting the walls right now, so I'm not saying we, she is doing that. Um, yeah, no, it's good. She, she seems to, not rela- relationship related, but she seems to strip a lot of screws when she's unscrewing things. Useless. Well, she fucks them up. Yeah. I think she's fucked up like six. Like she bends them or something. Like when she's turning the Phillips head screwdriver and like the, the teeth, like the, the, the cross starts kind of yeah, like uh, bending and warping. Uh, she's doing it in too much or she's putting too much pressure on or something. Or she's using a too big of a screwdriver or too small of a screwdriver or not putting enough pressure. I, I, I can't diagnose it remotely, but the something she's doing it's not working. Okay, well, good thing screws aren't too expensive. Oh, good thing that. But yeah, she um, hacksawed it off. I think she just like left it in the wall and I'm just like thinking about that to right now. <laughs> and it's triggering you? Yeah, I don't know. I, I would have just got like a, you know, vi- not vice grips, but like the, like the big pliers like, or something. And just do you know like the, the, the angleable grip? So you like, you do this and then you can like slide it up and down and like change the how like. Oh, yeah. 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 So and then, yeah. Just like really grip it to dent them and then try to turn it from there. Yeah. Like, you know, simple stuff, you know. Man stuff. Man clearly. Stuff. clearly, clearly. Otherwise, you. Wouldn't. She's trying to take off about that as like stereotype with the girls. Like, I'm a weak girl, man. Can you please hold this for me or carry this? For Dude, me? you know what's so funny? And then when they're like put themselves, they do it themselves. I legit had one of those like moments. I was at my, I was at uh, Taylor's house, and it was quite funny. There was legit the girls all being like, like even the mum were like trying to open a jar, <laughs> and they're like, Nah, we'll get it, and they're like. Fucking a couple minutes later, like a few of them have tried and they just hand it to me. And like, I, I it wasn't hard. Like I, I wasn't like, and then I got it. It was like legit. Like I was just like, oh, let's, it would be funny if this just popped off easily. And I'm like, I swear they had to have loosened it because there's no way that they were that weak. And everyone just went, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it, just, it was like jam or something. And they were just like, wait, what? I'm like, it wasn't that. Because I was, because they were all like sending it like, like a, and I was like. They had sweaty spaghetti fingers, man. Yeah, I fucking schlacked it under there. And then I went, great, donk. And it was just like easy. I was like, It's pathetic. so good when like the, the lid starts like tightening against your skin and you can feel that like the, 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 like, grip. Oh, the pressure's coming but yeah no the thing is though it's when you're like opening a jar and as a coming. man you're like op- you're opening it nice. and you're like just fucking getting it. you can see a life before your eyes i'm like if i don't open this I'm was gay. my use <laughs> in society <laughs> oh no i can feel the script you can feel the slip i better tighten up a bit <laughs> tighten even more oh it's still slipping <laughs> Pop. Yeah. You just Tyler won that bitch. Yeah. Popped open. Had there a you go. Aneurysm. Easy. Yeah. Not a problem. Yep. And I think I think jam is I can't remember, but it's like jam or fucking like some sort of like masala or something like jar of fucking like the small ones. Like the, the tall, skinny ones. You like like it's kind of small headed jars. They're really hard to open. Like tahini. Yeah, some fucking fuck shit, you know. Okay. They're like really tight. You're like, well, this is great. But just you know, get a jar opener. You know how handy those yeah, things are? They're so good, dude. They're, they're great. Yeah. They're so handy. I've had them my entire life. And dude, I just pop a jam. I No dramas. This is like the first time but I, I don't have problems. Just when I started doing bouldering, dude, I could open any jar. Yeah. I could. I those could, fingers, forearm strength? I could. Yeah. Yeah. I could like. Do you have dislocated thumbs? No. Because I've got one. This hand, my left hand. Wait, it's like. Yeah, like this pops out of its, uh, like right there, it pops out. Whereas this one, no so my right hand's dominant, but my left, I've, I've always done everything with my left. Like I f- handball with my yeah, left, yeah. you know. But my thumb um, pops out. It's kind of fucking weird. But it's only one hand. Yeah, I, see, one I, I used to be able to like on door frames, you used to be able to crimp on them and like either hold them by, like hold them like just like this or like like that. It's great. Now I can't. Like I'll try it now and fuck full off. Yeah. Because you can, like, break your tendons or fuck up your tendons in there. Yeah. All right, here we go. Reagan's going to... He's hanging, hang on. He's feeling... 
Two week. Yeah, no, two week. Yeah. No, we'll come back to you. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, trying. I'm learning to do muscle. I'm not learning, but I'm practicing muscle ups again. Yeah, um, we got to think about a pull up rack here. Pull yeah, up yeah we, we can do it in the dude after work. We can do like a pull up bar sesh like every week. I'm dude. I'm gonna be fucking like commit to it. Shirts I, off. I will music be playing. Like, I will buy bands. I got bands. Have you? Yeah. Because I I actually really want to pull up bar. Yeah, because I can't use mine at home because use bar, right? I used it too much that I started shredding off paint, and it's like, you know, it's a fucking hassle when it's not my house kind of thing. But yeah. if we could have one like in the garage, yeah, yeah. Um, in the garage, yeah, with my can, Lamborghini. Like, literally, like, like no, no, no excuses. Like you got to pull up bar back on Wednesdays after work, like clock on. Dude, I'm keen. Oh, yeah. We should announce. I mean, it's not really a fucking announcement, but this the next podcast. I'll be in. He'll be a resident of the show, I'll guys. Be he'll be of in the props, here. Of the propertoires. Yeah, he'll um, be my property, signed and sealed. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah. Because, yeah. you got to start fucking. Today's Saturday. Dude, um, it sucks to be you. You're going to have to start. You have to now start paying bills, man. I know, my guy. It sucks to sucks to suck, it my dude. It sucks to suck. Well, I do pay bills now, but it's now going to be bills. But now you feel accomplished. Yeah, smiley. Um. Yes, that that is what it is. Yeah, um, but that's alright. So yeah, I'll be here next 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 week. Mm. You'll be home. Yeah, for a little bit. For a bit, Un- unless this, you know, we figure out this community. You guys like us, we can continue this bad boy, this venture. You're telling me you'd extend. Well, if there's a, if there's, there's, you know, this is my main. It's the main income source. I got to do what I got to do. You know. Oh, I understand. You know, pressure's on, boys. The pressure's on. Look, let me just quickly have a fucking rant and a, and a ramble. I've been talking a lot today. Think about the people. I just want to have a big a bit of a shout out from, from both of us. I'm going to speak to you. Speak for you, Reagan, rather. Um, shout out to the motherfuckers who have made it this far in. About 13 of you, I think. Yeah. 13, I think of it. And we're not even done. So we're good. I'm just saying, shout out. You haven't skipped to the end. You've made it this to this weird kind of almost at the end point. Shout out. Props to you, my guy. My guy, my Fred. Respect. Um, oh, no, it wasn't you. Sorry, I was going to say something. Oh, no, it wasn't you. DID. What do you think about DID? Yeah. I have not timestamped at all. No, sorry. What's the what's your, what's your little rant there? Your little thing? That little was my little thing. I just want to say I appreciate the fuckers. That was a tiny thing. It wasn't a little thing. It was like. Wasn't even a thing. Yeah. I don't know. I just think um, I don't understand people. No, sorry. I shouldn't say it like that. I do understand it. He's not appreciative. I I just, I'm not the type of guy that starts a YouTube video and, or a podcast and doesn't finish it. You know what I mean? I'm not like a completionist, but I'm like, yeah, no, who does that? Like, when you hear like, oh, people only get 9% of the way through a video, you're like. Video, sure, but like, and I'm not the same either, but like if you're watching a shit video, you should watch a shit video, but like. Yeah. Podcasts, you don't skip through those. Yeah. Like. Who you know, that? You've seen, I don't know. It's just like. Yeah. With YouTube videos, you're like, okay, you got clickbaited and it's dog shit and it's not what you wanted. Fair. You fucking clicked out. You got it 30 seconds in. You're like, this is clearly not what was advertised. Yep. It's not anywhere in here. It's not like it's at the end. See you later. And then you look in the comments and you're like, fucking clickbait or whatever. But a podcast is like, who clicks one? Like, unless the YouTube algorithm is actually... You, you, Suggesting YouTube, you to one. Or they're saying it was wrong. Like, let's say, because sometimes I'll start a video, get 20 minutes in, and then I'll turn off my phone or YouTube will restart or whatever. And then I click on the video and it plays from where I continued, but it counts that as two views. Yeah. And it goes, oh, well, this person only made it 20 minutes in and this guy finished the two hour podcast or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. That I could understand if that was a bit of a problem, but I don't think that's the case. Yeah. Um, and I just like, I do understand, you know, some people just don't have fucking time or whatever, glitch like that and a thousand different fucking reasons. But it's just like, why would you start a podcast and not finish it? Mm. Like unless it was obviously a mistake and blah blah blah, but I'm just saying like why would you just like fucking click play? Yeah, you know, do, do, like what the fuck's going on with you? Noggin. Yeah, 
I don't know. Like podcasts, I think are like they're a different game. I don't know. Being a pod father, a fellow pod father, Tim, we started twenty seventeen in the top one percent. Top one percent. We did it before every other fucking fella did it. Mm-hmm. So we got that on our like I can take that, Logan Paul. You fucking loser. <laughs> Give me some of your viewers. Dude, uh, cool. That guy seems like a cool dude, man. Like, he seems. Like I do his... want to pull back his hair. He does look like he could be going bald. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. No offense, Jed will never watch this. It seems a bit like my brother. Yeah, Logan. I don't mean to call him out, but I mean, cancelled. I mean, it's coming from someone who's got like, look, I've got, I've got a fucking dome, dude. Like this from childbirth. Like, that, I'll hang on, tilt your head down. Look at that. That's a fucking damn. That's long. Good. I mean, you filler. fucking f- you fling a flashlight at that. That thing, dude. You're, you're going blind, mate. They like, use as a solid. You know. Well, oh my god, dude. Blind. Where's he at? Lift it Bing. up. Bing. Lift up the torch higher. Bing. Bing. I'm like a little lighthouse, dude. Yeah. Jesus Christ. But um, oh my no. God. It looks like he's like. He's got, he's got, uh, I like it. I like his hairstyle. Everyone gives him shit. I think like American have been little, little fags there, but he's got like the, well, they don't like his hairstyle. Dude, have you seen his haircut? It's fucking sick. Logan Paul. I, I like it. I was going to get the exact same haircut. <laughs> Dude, I saw no, a plenty he's, of he's money got, out of shit got, haircut. No, he's, he's so much shit today. <laughs> he's got an Australian tradie haircut, if you know what I'm talking about. So like, he's got like the bit of a fringe, sort of New like the, haircut. the mullet. So he's got like the, the mullet around, like just above his ears and down behind his ears. Okay. And it's a sort oh, of like, like this. A, when was that taken? I don't know. But sort of, yeah. It's not this. Oh, fuck. It's not that. No, no. Okay. no. It's more like that one. Gotcha. Oh, like this. Like that thing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's like a, you know, tradie, Australian tradie haircut, you know? Gotcha. Um, yeah, good on him. He's a Chad. Yeah, I think so. Weren't dude. they on? Weren't Logan and Jake on? What was that fucking channel? Disney? Uh, no. What's a, what was that channel? You know what I'm saying? Do you remember that TV show? Bizarre Vark? I don't fucking know where they did that. Hey, guys, and welcome to... Yeah, that's Jake Paul. He did that for Disney. He was a Disney Channel star. Okay, what about Logan? Logan was not. He just started a YouTube channel. He was just the bigger, better older brother. Cool. Um, I just like, I like Logan. He gives me like cool older brother vibes. Like yeah. he, to me, like he reminds me of my brother Vince. Um, looks like he slays. Definitely slays. Dude, I heard, did you hear him talk about dating? Uh, no, but I know he's got like, you know, he only dates. He doesn't like dating is the long story. Yeah. Sure. He goes like, what's, what's the point of this? Like yeah. he wasn't like, what's the point of this? But he was like, this is a lot of time to just get to know someone that you don't like. Yeah. He's just like, I could be doing better things with that time. Yeah, basically. so he doesn't try to put too much effort in, like, into getting with chicks or anything like that. I think he said that he, um, he, I can't remember, but he was saying that he doesn't, like. Bro, what a disgrace. He doesn't get with chicks who get, I can't remember whether he does or doesn't, but he doesn't get with chicks who get with, like, people in Hollywood. Like who bounce around? Oh, so he wants to find someone a little bit more like he, not traditional, but like, but you know, yeah, but he's that he gets around. Yeah, but I think he looks actively looks for people. But I don't know. Logan Paul. It doesn't seem like that's a. I, I can't. He's I can't, only two years older than Jake. Yeah, I didn't know that. I would have guessed it would have been more like me and my brother, like five no, years no, different. No, he is ninety five. Yeah, he's three older than me. Three years older. And than then me. Jake is ninety seven. Yeah, Jake's like a year, a than year me. and two days a, a year and two days older than me. Yeah. Uh so yeah, like, two years. It's sad, dude. He's a, like a year older than me, and he's a uh, conquer the world. And maybe that's us, but you know, he's like two years older than me. I gotta say, like no, no one person, I don't think historically, a lot of people have achieved as much as they have. But the amount of like depth and breadth that the Logan, like Logan and Jake, have done in their like short time on this earth, from. Ohio. It's not like their parents were rich and successful and famous to get them there. Like they, they are hustling. They may not be like the the most intelligent, but they know what the fuck they're doing. Mm. They're very very smart. Like when I say like they're not the months in their brainiacs. They're not like you know Elon Musk, but they're yeah. very smart. But what they're doing is working. Very calculated. I think 
deliberate. Yeah. I mean, it's funny because like Logan did exactly what I would have done is he made a hydration drink company. Literally, like if that was me in his shoes, that's one thing I would do because I looked up things like in his history. Um, he wants to be the first billionaire that was a YouTuber. That's his like goal. I'm not sure if it's Jake's goal or Logan's goal, but it's sort of similarly aligned. Um, and they, I, I was wonder like, who the closest is? Well, probably Pewds. No, you don't uh, reckon? No, dude. Think about no. the early days of fucking 2012 to 2015. He would have made fucking millions off that. Oh no, they're all millionaires, but it's up to the, the extracurricular activities, right? So Mr. Beast, right? He opened 270 franchises and taking royalties for Mr. Beast Burger that still is running right now. Yeah, but he says he makes fuck all. Yeah, but if you make 10 cents from every burger, then a million burgers are sold. That's 100 grand. <laughs> That's not a good analogy. But, um, like, it'd be more than 10 cents, but even if it's fuck all, he'd be making a significance. Yeah, yeah. The value of that brand itself is worth more. The va- the name of Mr. Beast has expanded more than the YouTube channel. He's now Mr. Beast Burger. Like it's like, it's, it's a franchise. It's, yeah. it's a thing. He could then sell that company or the value of the name of that company for millions, maybe billions. I don't, I don't know, but his valuation is worth so much. These guys got into crypto. They were gifted and given crypto. They were given signals and crypto uh, in crypto stuff well before we were, and they were buying crypto in 2018. So, like, you know, you bought 10 Bitcoins. You know, you'd be, you'd be laughing right now. Um, you know, Logan Paul's got a fuck ton of NFTs. Um, I'm not sure what his NFT asset portfolio is, but his public ones are probably worth, like, I, I think it's fair to say his public portfolio is worth, like, over $10 million in NFTs. Like, public, like on on their on their um floor prices. Yeah. Um, But, you know... Then they're so smart. Like Jake Paul used to have like a financial sort of like betterment, you know, channel. I don't know how, what it was. I think I was trying to achieve some stuff, but the way he spoke, it wasn't, it didn't seem genuine. Not that he was being disingenuous, but I don't like that. You know, when you like, you sp- see someone talking on camera and they like talk a bit different and it seems like their their tongue's holding a bit to the roof of the mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what, I, like it, it seemed a bit, I didn't like it, but the message is. From who, sorry? From Jake. Jake. Okay. But like the channel was kind of cool. It had Gary Vee on it and it was about like him wanting to be like the, I think it was Jake who wants to be the first billionaire. Has him on there. Has him talking about how he wants to be the first billionaire and like all those, you know, strategies and successes he can do. And like these guys like go in you know, YouTube before, if you don't know it and I don't know it too, too well, but like there's a lot of stuff under the hood about like understanding the algorithm for it to work. Yeah. And these guys get it. And we clearly don't. We clearly don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think the easiest thing is, but I kind of think it's disingenuous. Is literally just like punch up, um, like Leafy did mm-hmm. that, and like I Dubs and stuff did that. Dude, uh, oh no, H three H three did that. Yeah, I, I feel like there have been a lot of like realms of YouTube, like uh, sorry eras. Yeah, like from, the, yeah. think about it, Filthy Frank retired. Don't talk about that, man. Like. No one talks about that. Yeah. Like, that was an era. Like, H3H3, H3, iDubs, and uh, Filthy Frank. And the thing is, I didn't watch them. Kind of the how to basic. And yeah. Like, I, I didn't watch any of them. I just liked the presence on there. Yeah. Knowing they existed. Yes. You know? And now it's just like, <laughs> iDubs probably still does videos. I liked his content cops. They were great. They were great. They I did, were like, I did watch those. Um, yeah, Filthy Frank. Like, it was just... Like, overall respect to the guy. He said, like, his health couldn't stand him fucking doing Filthy Frank anymore, so he did music. Um, and I think he had a bit Which, more of a passion for that. But yeah. I, 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 no, he always wanted to be a musician. I don't think we ever found out the actual specifics of what he meant by health. He had, um, he has heart murmurs, like heart problems. Oh, okay. He has a myocarditis from COVID. <laughs> okay. Um, from the COVID. Not from the vaccine, but from COVID, okay. or from Omicron. There you go. Um, no, I think he had some sort of like heart problem. Okay. Then, like the, the the doing those videos put stress on him, um, that unnecessary stress. But I don't, I don't know. I think those sort of videos aren't great for your anxiety. Yeah. I don't why, know. I th- why do you think that? I think he's kind of, I think he's one of those people who like, is outgoing, funny, but also someone who's probably probably like not too. Naturally inclined, naturally to do that. retarded. 
Like yeah. he's actually probably like switched on a smart. Yeah. Um, but he does like to goof off. Like, you know, that, you know, he, it seems like he could have been like that oh. weird kid in like, you know, think of like some weird kids who, you know, or maybe me even, but like there's some weird kids in my class. Cause I was in like the G and T class who, if you have a conversation with a fucking hilarious, mm. but like you wouldn't see that then like switch so, on off. So do you think he was the type of person to be like, he'll goof off. And he just happened to make a kind of couple of YouTube videos and it did well. And he was like, oh, well, I should run with this. But he was like, this isn't truly who I am. Yeah. And he's just Possibly. like, fuck. Yeah. And I, I think mean, so. It's like, not otherwise... like he was like, maybe he was or maybe he wasn't like committed to the role. I don't think he would have been. But he was like, you know what? I've kind of done well here. The... It's kind of like, um, who was the director I was talking about before? James Gunn? No. Um, he watched Tenant. He watched Christopher Nolan's Tenant. Oh, uh, cre- um. Quentin Tarantino. Yes, he's talking about retiring because he's like, "Why would I keep? I'm at like the top of why my would work." I? Yeah, and he's like, "Why? Why should I keep going?" He's like, "I've done the best stuff." Gets I think. Old I, and sad, he, dude. He's, like, yeah, he's just Rainbow like, Five. Yeah, and Joe Rogan was trying to convince him. He's like, "No, you've still got more in the tank," and he's just like, "Oh, maybe I don't know." It's so dumb that I think Joe Rogan probably idolizes Quentin, but is it- I think it was also just content. Like, he's not going to be like, all right, retire then. He's going to yeah. be like, no. But of all people, just... though, like, Joe, of all people, it's like when you're, when you're like half your legs out, you get, you know, when you're half your foot's out of the door, that's when you, you know, get hurt. Like, all the fighters who, like, start, like, going, oh, I'm thinking about retiring, and then they have another fight, and that's when they fucking get concussed or yeah. knocked out or whatever. That's it's when like, the big one happens, yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, but that, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. I, I know what you mean, but it is different from, like, art and fighting. Yeah, but it's like, you might make a shitty film that's not. Yeah, true. And I'm sure he's probably made some recently that he's probably not the most happy with. But it seems like he's still got some creative juices left in him. And I think, I'm like, you know, you don't want to go David Goggins style till there's nothing left, literally Dude, nothing but left. But he, he, David Goggins, is a lad. Lives to smite himself. Like that is his character. Purpose, yeah. It's not like, oh, I'm sixty, I'm gonna keep doing this till I die, sort of thing, which he would be. But like, this, he's like a fucking savage. Whereas when you're like, oh, I want to retire, I'll do another one because that's what people want. And that's not what I want. Right. Well, that's a problem. Different. I agree. That's a problem. But he's, I think he's saying like, he's much more like, I don't know if I want to do this kind of thing. And he wasn't, I think he was like easily convinced and he's kind of like open to like, I don't know. He's just like, I understand that most people, it's not like the Christopher Nolan thing of like, you know, most people live to see themselves become the villain. Yeah. I don't think, I think he's just like, I'm at the top of my game. And he's just like, I know a lot of people that kept going and they got worse. And, and they got they, sloppy, yeah. Yeah, and their legacy kind of got tainted a bit. And he's just like, I don't want that to happen. And it's just like, yeah, but you here you are at the peak, but who's to say your peak might not go more? Go more? So who knows? But it's just like, dude, if you're if you're like you said with the, I'll fighter, be in it. If you're the next film, yeah, I still want that um the boys episode. I still need to reach out to I a want, producer. I want that spaghetti scene. I still need a producer. Shout out to those who know. It was like spaghetti. In a diner, at like a your IHOP faces waffle. to the camera. I can picture it, dude. Yeah, my face was not facing the camera. You were eating waffles, I think. No spaghetti. No, I was the spaghetti. You had the waffles. Oh, okay. I, th- I think I think I, I think watched I it. I wanted the spaghetti a lot, but I was like, oh man, my spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, but I die. Yeah, and you live. Yeah. I think. It was dumb. I absolutely. I, I I need to I need to reach out to about some producers. Like we said last time, or I think you said this, you're like, wouldn't it be funny if someone was a fan of this? Like the like son, son or daughter, the son or daughter is like a fan of it, and that's yeah. how you like get yeah. on. You know, they said, oh, could you just do this? And we're like, yeah, yeah, and no one references it. Like um, there's just this scene in the show, and it's like, oh, that happened, and we're like, like, who the fuck yes. are these fellas? Yeah. Why is we it... talked about this in episode fucking twenty eight? And I, I don't even know. Would you tell people about it, or you just let it happen when it was done and streamed, and then yes. just like see it in, in, just see it on Reddit, and be like, yeah, that was oh, me. I would, I would. I don't know. This is what I would do if I knew someone watched the show. I would encourage them to watch the show, and then. If they, if I was like, let's say it happened in episode three of like episode eight, I'm like, hey, oh, do you hear about the new boys season four or whatever? And they're like, 
Oh yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, you should watch it. I heard it was pretty good. I, I've watched a couple of episodes, and you know, I've heard it, the ending's pretty fucking sweet. You're gonna watch it, and uh, if I convince them to watch it, um, I check in a couple of days later and be like, "Oh, so what do you think? Did you see that scene in the diner? How fucking funny was that?" And if they go, "Yeah," I'll be like, "Dude, hey, I want to show you something." I'd get the clip up. It'd be clipped on YouTube probably at that stage or something, and I'd be like, "Guess who that motherfucker is?" And I'd be like, it's "Fucking me, I died." <laughs> <laughs> But I wouldn't go out there being like, dude, I'm on a fucking TV dude, show. The funniest thing is, though, like... It, I just want it to be like, did you catch it? No? Hey, guess what? That's me. Yeah. Imagine they're like, put like a goatee on me or something. Something like, sorry, like, I wouldn't even look like it, you know? Be like, what? Yeah. Just like a, <laughs> like a bowl cap and just like a shitty beard. Yeah, my spaghettios. <laughs> I don't even I didn't know, man. Yeah. Um, But it'd be funny is like, I always thought like I don't I don't care with the red carpet, but you and I just went on and be like, who the fuck are these people? Who are they? The spaghetti dudes. They're the guys of spaghetti, yeah. and like we're just there just for no nothing more than just like. I would memes. so want to deliberately look lost, <laughs> like at all time. Like you just have to like push me along, and I'm always like. Oh, do we go this way and just like 180 and just keep like look lost? And you're like, everyone's like, dude, what? You sound How like. How is this guy on? Honestly, this? and ironically, we probably will get lost. <laughs> yeah. And like, then we I don't have to know the people. status quo. We don't know all the ins and outs. We don't know who people are. Hey, you guys are supposed to put. Oh. We're getting like yelled at by some guy holding like, a, you know, uh, having like camera. the full. We'll probably look like. The, we'll probably both look like the. Like, the, the, who are the people? I don't know what they call the guys like they wear like the vest. We were the, the plus ones to some fucking. Fe- yeah. yeah, we're just like there. We're like allowed to go on the red carpet, we're allowed to go in the festival because the red carpet goes towards like that center. But you know what would be funny? If we just like Through, went like, the up junket, to the actors the and we're like, hey! <laughs> just like put our arms around them. In the, in the photos? Yeah, it's yeah, just. Like, <laughs> 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 and it's just like, oh, the fucking spaghetti boys. Imagine, imagine if you're in all of the media, like in all of the trailers, it's just you and I. And they're like, who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> and we don't say anything to our friends, our family, anything. It's just Tim and Ray's. And be like, Travis. So here we go. Here we go. Travis here we go. and Damon. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> well, right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You could have some backstory like, they're, okay, so the boys are hunting down this this superhero, this super uh, villain soldier, whatever. And you know how there's always one of those casual like civilians in a car scene, and they're just cruising along, and then fucking this guy zooms along, and this guy's we're just in the car, and we're just like going along. <laughs> like the shot is us going to the diner. Yeah. yeah. Like in one episode, and the next episode, the boys have killed that fucking cunt. And we're just there again. Dead. And then, then we're at the diner, and they're at the like, <laughs> like just have us like kind of a reoccurring, like oh, they're at the donut shop, but then I die in like episode like seven or whatever. But like we don't really have lines. Yeah, or we're like, like we're always just kind of around. Like unused extras, or yeah. like we All actually the time are though. heroes that like don't die. Yeah, so and then I, that's our. That's our that's no, our, I want to be like useless. Like no, no, that's what I'm saying. Like that's our only thing is we don't die. We like just we have no super strength. We don't train. Yeah, we just don't die, and we just keep popping up, and like literally, like we don't have anything. I've got an in-house reason as to why you don't get upset. I die. Okay, you go. Oh my spaghetti, because I heal. Yes, yeah, I'm saying you don't die. Yeah, good call. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but it'd be just be like, <laughs> but like, like let's just say they go to get a coffee, you know, and we just one of us just We're happens there, to be. Uh, in we are like at they're getting coffee at like yeah. a like Seven Eleven, and then we're like at near the fridges, like trying like pick up like a like a soda or something like yeah. that, like yeah, yeah. just like just gonna power it or like some Jewish which one, you know, like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want, you want one? Yeah. It's like literally and that's they're, it. They're later at a donut store, and where one of us is like eating and one of us is ordering or something. But like, I just want it never referenced to. No, like, and especially like we're very rarely in frame, like in but detail. What would be funny is like like James Gunn's. Like, this is what I was thinking as well. It's like James Gunn's um, <laughs> Suicide Squad 2, how they made all their trailer trunket, uh, like junket and like all their like media about like the first squad. Oh, yeah. And they had like, you know, they had like, you know. They're back. They're back with new people. And it had um, 
Kim Kardashian's new 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 boy f- new boy toy. What? Um, what's his name? Pete Davidson. And I had like Pete oh, Davis in yes. the trailers and stuff, and like, yeah, 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 like that. Yeah. Imagine like all the stuff was like some, some, some like all the trailers are referenced. Like it's like low key shit, right? It's, like all the trailers reference us, so you and me, and that's it. And there's like some references, like you know, us like talk, you know, like the other actors talking like amongst themselves, but most of it's just me and you doing mundane shit, and yeah. that's like their whole media. It's like yeah. the boys are back, yeah. and it's just me and you. Like, but you could, we could do. Oh, here we go. Okay, right. They have their main campaign. Yeah. This is like of the, like actual trailers, yeah. But like they have spoof trail, like two spoof trailers, which is just like the boys are back, and it like goes from them. Here's the shot, okay. The shot's like this big, okay. And this <laughs> is the main character, but pie. over here it's just us eating a donut, and you and eating it's meat just like, pie, that's the spoof. and you're like some fucking meat. <laughs> Just shit and, like and then like all the red card would have us on there for no reason. Like, I was, like I said the other thing, I'm like, I wouldn't care if we got paid that much or not. It's just a hilarious, like as long as everything we do is paid for, not by us. Yeah. So like, I'd be happy not to get paid that much, yeah. but it's like, there's like all the spoofs, like we're on the red carpet. We're like all lined up, but we, we have no, no, like no necessity. Like, we don't exist. Yeah. The whole thing is, I don't care to be, I would not care to get famous from that. It's literally just like, we're like a nothing character. Yeah. We're not important. It's just a meme to it me. It would just be such self, like inside jokes. Yeah. It would just be funny. Like, like chef to, yeah, yeah. you know, do you know the chef meme no. with uh, like Max Mofo and stuff? No. They just kept saying, have you seen chef? Oh yeah. And then, yeah, then they yeah, chuck yeah. chef in yeah, and then they like ask John Favreau if he's seen chef. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that sort of shit. Did they ask John Favreau? Yeah. He did, like, geez, like John Favreau did a, a, an AMA and like a lot of people said, have you seen Trev? <laughs> <laughs> oh. so, so like that sort of shit would be so funny. Yeah. Like, seriously. Yeah, that's so dumb. The thing is, all 15 people that watch this will eventually see the boys if that Venn diagram ever crosses over. They'll see us in there and be like, what? It the thing happens. is, there is no risk of us like leaking this because no one's going to watch it. As in this part? This this part? This episode? Yeah. That's right. Because think about it. The people that are listening to this right now, you are one in, I don't even know. Eight billion. You're probably like, like the ratio would be like one in 600 million. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you're doing pretty well. So one person. So this is extremely rare. Yeah. To see this clip. And like, let's just say that we do happen to blow up a little bit from it or whatever. In a few years time, you know, the podcast is more popular. You know, who's going to go back to this random episode where we're talking about this and get to this part? And so the people listening right now, props to you. I mean, you could be listening to this five years in the future and just happen to click on this one podcast and just auto cycle while you're painting your house. And this is just one that pops on and... You're like, when the fuck? They're talking about Batman coming out? Fucking hell. Didn't that come yeah. out like five years ago? Th- we'll probably already, because I'm manifesting this out, we'll probably already be on the show, have done it already. So they're like, you know, if so, if, 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 and this is for the intellectual honest people, if you were going to say, I was one of the people from the start that knew about this happening. You better start talking about it now. You better start going on the boys Reddit subreddit right now. I don't even know if they have a subreddit. And posting about this. Yeah, bring back the spaghetti boys. Because I'm not I'm not gonna say if you go, Yeah man, I, I, I watched the episode after a week after it came out and you're talking about you going on and then, you know, I've been down with that ever since. It's like Oh yeah, it's not enough. You and six hundred and other, th- you know, six hundred other people, but we only had five viewers. Like, yeah, I need more. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, that's been great. Um, I would love to talk about, but I gotta go to the toilet. Like, my that beer has flipped my stomach. Um, but I wanted to talk about the subreddit anti work. Um, and how they took a huge L. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that next week, probably. Yeah, be a bit late, but. I'll when aren't we now. ever? Come I'm on. happy to talk about it now, but basic of oh, no in depth. Anti work is like a big subreddit. It had two hundred thousand people, and then quickly grew to two million. Fox News was like, "Hey, let's make a post on it," and then somehow got the greasiest, unwashed, unbrushed-haired person on the thing, 
uh, and it was a big L because, you know, if you know anything about the antique work thing, it's about the whole thing of, you know, don't let your bosses uh, take advantage of you as a, an employee. They can't, you know, you should put yourself first before your company because they'll put themselves first before you. Simple as that, right? Mm. Didn't discuss any of that on the Fox News article. They're talking, literally, they're talking about how the, the Reddit moderator walks dogs and is 30 years old. And there's a big, big L for that for that movement, I guess, if you want to call it a movement. Yeah. So you and I come in this from different points of view. Yeah. And I won't keep this going for too long for you, your, the sake of your butthole in your toilet. Because um, you came across it quite early, the subreddit. Yeah. So you found out when like maybe months. it was in a good stage. Yeah. It whereas I found great. when I found out about it maybe six months ago, it was shit then. Or at least the posts I had seen were shit. And I'm like, oh God, this is just people They're, fucking it's complaining. It's not great, about. but they just have some hot takes. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. Everything I saw, which wasn't much, but everything I saw was just like anti capitalist shit. And I'm like, snooze. This is just another like late stage capitalism fucking subreddit. Yeah, yeah, true. And I'm like so, boring to me. Can I read something for you? Yeah, go Biological on. man who's 26 who molested girl to be housed with females in juvenile detention after identifying as a woman. So sorry, he was 26 years old. Identified Biological as man, a, 26, yeah. who molested girl yeah. to be housed with females in juvenile detention after identifying as a woman. So why is he in juvenile if he's 26? Maybe it's a meme. I have to look at it as open up Reddit because I'm trying to pull up anti work. Juvenile. Maybe juvenile doesn't mean like. Maybe juvenile is to like 28 like, years old or like something. Like a delinquent sort of like An low, idiot. low, like not like. Like a low IQ boy. No, like a, like not prison, prison, but like, you know, just more of a delinquent prison. I don't, I don't know. Who cares? Go to find anti work. Can't you see when you joined? I never joined. When do you see? I, I think you can only see it on uh, desktop, can't you? Dang. I don't know if you can do it. On, I'm not going to check. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't see. It just says joined. That's all it says. Yeah. Um, you can probably, yeah, you can probably see it on desktop. But yeah, no. So so the funny thing is, the whole point of what I'm trying to say is, the funny thing is, a lot of people fucking were like, that was garbage. So they made the new subreddit for the new movement. It's called like, I don't even know. I think it's like Freedom Movement or something like that. Oh can... my God, you're kidding. No, but it's like, it's just like, we shouldn't have some... Like basically, they like if that's the best you've got, or the best of the best, they brought on Fox. The best of the best, and we're talking about you know, this is the second time Fox has brought someone on after Diamond Hands McGee, who was like you know how like after the like, you know the, the whole Robin Hood scandal and like how people bought GameStop and the guy that made millions who's um I forgot his name, yeah. absolute legend, bought like you know six hundred thousand GameStop shares and was just like I just like the stock. And it's like. Are you going to sell? He's like, nah, baby, dumb hands. <laughs> and it was just like <laughs> memes for days, movie. dude. He was fucking, he's, a, he's like a millionaire now. Yeah. He just bought GameStop and he got GameStop out of um, like him as well as some others. But the way it was working is like he, his signal was like, there's so many options on this. It's, this is stupid. So I'll buy a fuck ton and uh, see how it goes. Yeah. So, um, but it's just like, and he told everyone about his signal. A lot of other people bought it. And then, like, they were like, oh, we should stop, you know, Redditors colluding and, you know, trading and doing background trading and, you know, affecting the markets. Which is incredible that that which so it, many, that group of individuals, which is good, a lot of people, that they actually tried passing laws and started talking about passing laws. To stop free trade? Yeah, it was incredible. Although, and my, no, that's another subreddit I was in well before I got huge. Yeah. Um because I've I joined a bunch of financial ones, like like you know, f like intellectual. It or whatever, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, another one. Like, and I saw those signals as well. I'm like, and I, I'm from Australia. I don't care about you know American Nasdaq shares. Yeah. It's hard to annoying to access. I don't care about having eToro. Don't care. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I saw the signals. I'm like, you know, good on you, brother. Keep going. And like, it, it was just. It was always fun because, like, you know, if you knew anything about um, Wall Street bets, it's, yeah. like, people getting owned. Yeah. Like, you see, like, their, their, their portfolios go from, like, 100K down to 1K. I'm, like, oh. Dude, it's just full of autists. Just <laughs> They're fucking, literally autists. Like, like, and they call themselves retarded monkeys or whatever. They call know. themselves autists. Yeah. And it's just, damn. Some of those posts you go, fuck, dude. That is. And it's, like. 
and some of them obviously they're like millionaires or they fake the actual thing and they just edit another zero on there or whatever. But it's like, you know that there's a few real people out there who actually had good intentions and didn't try to tank their thing, but they posted it and they just lost like 10 years of their savings. And you're like, damn, all for some internet points. And it's like, Was damn. it worth it? Most certainly was. Because, Tim, you'll own nothing and you will be happy. And you'll be happy. And on that note, I like to leave it on a cliffhanger. You know what I'm saying? Goodbye. (laughs) Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. You could own something and you (laughs) probably won't be happy. That's the spin. Hot take. (laughs) Hot take. Yeah. Very middle ground. Ladies and gentlemen. Sizzle your schnizzles. Sizzles your schnizzles. You enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, don't be in spaghetti in a diner. Or do and get it on footage. All right. Sign off. Toodles. Oops.